Hey, what's going on, fellas? Fets here with a tactics tips video for you. And this video is going to be on CN Crossing Rush Attack. And, uh, I'm going to do some breakdowns for you. Uh, right here, I'm just showing you who's on the in the game that I actually know in uh, my my squad. And a couple guys join later. Uh, we're just checking out what's going on to get started. Uh, 72 tickets still, so it's a fresh game. Uh, so I'm starting out down this right side, and one of the first things I'm looking at here are my threat points. So there's three. There's the two windows and the door, and that uh, top right window is my biggest threat. Uh, it's the one that I'm most exposed to as I come in and out of this uh, hiding place here. So that's the one I'm going to look at first. Um, I'm looking at my mini map. I'm looking to see if this courtyard area in here is clear that area I just highlighted in red. I don't see any enemies showing up on that or any teammates dying there, so my first thought is that's clear. I'm watching the windows, watching my door, and getting ready to make a move up now that I've evaluated all those options. Uh, I take a guy out in this top right window, um, just like I planned, and I make my push now with uh, this corrupt here. And I know that the courtyard is clear, so I'm not too worried about checking my left side. I'm able to just watch the right side, because earlier I, I saw that on the mini map. <coughs> So this is one of the tougher incomes in the game when you're playing Rush. Um, just getting through through into this secondary courtyard here is tough. Um, this guy pursues me. I thought maybe my teammates were watching that door, but I think they went down. Uh, so anyways, it gives me an opportunity to talk to you about spawning in on a teammate. And um, as my spawn menu comes up here, uh, I just want to look at what I'm evaluating here. I have the three check marks that show what's clear. Um, I'm looking at those are points where I commonly see enemies that could shoot me based on where I'm spawning. The two um, scopes are where there's potential danger. So as I look at that and uh, I see where corrupts at, I know this is a pretty safe spawn uh, based on what I just observed in that mini map. You know, that's one thing to, to try to look at before you spawn. Just look at that mini map and take advantage of that. Because uh, far too often people are just eager to get back in the game and just spawn into a death. Uh, so here we've kind of pushed around. This is the key to taking this MCOM is uh, to try to find where they're weak. So they, they had a lot of attention on that front door, that front archway. And uh, it leaves them vulnerable to the side attack. I made a big mistake there. I should have of retreated back to the archway, but uh, in my head I just had this idea I wanted to keep pushing up, keep applying pressure, and I got caught in a long reload with the F2000, uh, and it came back to bite me. But yeah, my, my kit is, uh, I'm running the assault kit so I can revive, that's my usual kit on a, on a rush attack, from the attack on a rush game, I like to run assault with uh, the medic bag, uh, keep people alive, and uh, generally someone else, you can see corrupts running uh, support, so we got ammo. Uh, free bullets the whole game, and as long as I keep him alive, he'll keep me supplied with ammo. Uh, so I'll run the F2000. One thing I've started running, I used to run the holographic site a lot, and uh, I started running the, the Cobra or the Red Dot. I like the Cobra a little better. It doesn't uh, intrude onto the screen as much. Uh, the, the holographic site has just a little bit of a zoom, and I'm just speeding this part up here. Uh, but the holographic has a, a little bit of a zoom, and I find that it just makes me overextend my reach with some guns. So if I'm running the gun like the 2000, it's not as good of a long range gun. Um, or if I'm running any of the uh, engineer guns, uh, come up to a, a good point about keeping an eye on the minimap. I see this uh, triangle behind me just for a second there on the minimap, and I, I'm able to spin and take him out right here. Um, but any gun, like any of the engineer carbines or some of the assault rifles that don't have as good of long range shooting, I'll just put the red dot on. It helps me keep from overextending myself. Uh, so what I've done here, back to the game, I've pushed up on this right side. And there's a couple areas I want to keep an eye on. This wall that I've highlighted in red is uh, is my primary threat. Now the a wall on the left in yellow, that's an area I want to be aware of. But I'm not going to return fire there generally with the gun I'm using. I don't want to get shot from there, but I'm not as worried about it. I'm watching this wall that I've highlighted in red, and uh, that's that's where I'm the most concerned about, where the enemies are going to pop up that I can shoot 
and that can shoot me easily. And you can see teammates are dying there, so that that's off all of my um, my red alerts there to keep an eye on it even more. Um, you can see a, a good tip here is I duck down to reload. Uh, I usually prone defensively, so I won't prone when I'm attacking, uh, but I'll use prone defensively, uh, meaning to heal or to reload. Um, so generally the best way to use that. Uh, so we, our team's been pretty aggressive here, and uh, we've taken the first MCOM on the grid, which can be pretty tough, leaving us just this boat. And uh, we're just kind of taking our time clearing. I've been trying to play this spawn point role a little more, where I'm not always the one pushing up, make sure the area is clear, make sure my team has somewhere to spawn in on, and then move up once uh, they need support on the MCOM. So I use the boat to drop down without taking too much damage, uh, or without dying. And I have a little trouble getting up in here. We both do, and we're just like dying. You know, we see like four or five guys in here, and we just want to get in there and shoot them. But uh, I think one of the blueberries on our team, or I'm not sure who gets that plant, but uh, it might have been Johnny actually. Um, but we move in pretty aggressively and clear the boat out uh, pretty effectively. And they, they kind of didn't see us coming from the blinders. And um, clean up a couple stragglers here that are trying to rush in and defuse like they should be. And uh, we take this income pretty easily. Uh, so, so far this game has just gone our way for the most part. Um, I think we've kind of caught them off guard. And, you know, we, we're we making all the right decisions as a squad. You know, a combination of aggression and conservative play. So where, you know, at appropriate times I'm sitting back and Johnny B is rushing up or Krupp's rushing up. <laughs> And that's really the key. Uh, so here again, just starting to move up slowly at first and establish where they are. Uh, a lot of threats that can shoot me from where I just was, so I'm just being careful to heal up before I engage in a gunfight. Uh, or at least almost as close to 100% as I can. Um, it's generally the, the best idea. Here I get a little greedy. Uh, it, pays, it pays off on that to Gretchen Cookie out. But I was only at 50% health. Um, and if he's doing at that distance, you know, 20 points damage. Um, that's only three bullets he needs to kill me. So it's not a very good decision, but... Uh, anyways, here I, I cleared the area. You know, if I freeze frame this, you can tell everything's clear. I don't see anyone, so I start moving up slow. Thinking the enemy's all falling back to their MCOM. And I die from this, from this little cave over here. And I'm just like, what the heck? <laughs> so I left the skill came in. Count these guys. One, two, three, four guys over here. They've got an MCOM planted, and uh, they're all down there trying to spawn trap us. Uh, so this is a good example of where they went wrong. Um, you know, they, they definitely don't go down easy. This is a, this is a fight. Uh, but that didn't help them. Um, there's an example I want to point out of a bad spawn. I knew that was a pretty dangerous spawn location, but I also knew I wanted to apply pressure to that MCOM and give, uh, just get more bodies on it. So I took the risk there. Um, I die, but I, I get rewarded with a team medic picking me up. And I, I try to knife Wretched Cookie and Krupp watches and waits, and when he sees that I'm about to fail, he comes to the rescue and takes him out from it. Uh, so here's a great spot when you're attacking this BMCOM. Look at the targets, the opportunities I have there. And, uh, you know, I, I'm pretty open to return fire, but I have so many areas that I can shoot to guard this BMCOM that it makes it a really advantageous position. And as a medic, if I start taking fire, I can fall back and heal. Uh, so it makes this a really good place. I, I could do with a little longer range gun than I have, but a pretty good shot with the F2000 at range. Now I'm running the F2000 silence with a grip. Pretty standard setup for me at least pre patch. And uh, I like the silencer because I don't like being on the enemy map. <laughs> so now we got B uh, armed, and I want to defend it from the kind of their spawn which is this highlighted red area, uh, is one of the main avenues, the quickest way for them to get there. But it's not the only one. So if I blow up the mini-map for an overhead view, you can see that they have three different alleyways. They have that main avenue in the middle, the right, and the far left. Um, so I'm in the best position to defend the far left, as well as the middle and right. I'm in a great position to defend all three. I'm the green dot, the red dot's the MCOM. And you can see where my teammates are dead and where they're alive at. Uh, so based on that knowledge, I know I want to keep an eye on the MCOM, but I, I want to keep an eye on this far left flank that they have, which is our weakness right now. And uh, 
as I draw my attention away, they do get a, a defuse there. Um, so their flank paid off. You know, they pulled a couple defenders off for watching the intercom. But we get it armed right away. I don't know where these guys go. They just disappeared. They must have got out the other side. And I'm sitting here looking for them, grenading them, and uh, I, I let them go. And I turn and watch this flank again as they come around this far left. And I want to seal that off. Attack Once I think that's it. clear, I'm going to go back to the other two approaches and keep an eye on those. Uh, but my team, my team takes care of it and uh, locks those two down while I lock down the, the uh, left flank. And uh, that's pretty much how it should work out. You know, we're communicating. I don't have a voice in this, but you know, we're talking. You know, I know where they are and, and we're assigning positions. Uh, so I was about to go up the middle there, and I see everyone dying here, so I come and get some tickets back and help push up. And uh, they put up a pretty good fight at this choke point, but we overwhelmed them with numbers and um, medics. So medics and numbers help us push up, and um, we're doing the right flank on this last uh, stage. We're not even looking at the A bomb. Uh, the B bombs, the more difficult one, so we want to take that first while the defense is still split between the two. Uh, however, that means coming up this uh, stairwell, which they're watching if they're smart, and it's really dangerous. So we make an initial push up it, and I think we catch them off guard. Uh, but they recover real quick, and I take a lot of my deaths here at the end trying to attack this BMCOM, but I know I've got teammates with me, and I know I just want to apply pressure, because just beyond this BMCOM in the back is their spawn where they all come from. So if I can kill enough guys here and push them back in that spawn, that's essentially the key to winning this. So I die there, spawn back into the stairwell. And uh, they're they're aware of us now coming up that way. They're nading. They're, they're killing us. Uh, so again, you know, we get some kills. We do some reviving. And we push back up the stairwell. And uh, while this is all going on, the rest of our team is taking aim, um, which is great. But it also leaves us vulnerable as their focus is now on the beat. Um, they know everyone's coming in. Um, so I a couple more deaths and a couple more good spawns. And we've now got them locked. You can see this uh, where I just died from, where Mooch killed me from. Is they're spawning. You can see how many guys are in there. Like, uh, there's like six guys right there. It's half their team, and they're shooting from their spawn. They're not pushed up past the end call. And that's the key as an attacker to, to create that scenario. You want them behind the end call, defending from behind it. Um, likewise, when we're defending, I'm always you know that's one of the things to say. Let's let's fight from in front of our end call. Um, so that's pretty much the game. I, I just want to bring you guys some tips on that map and some basic rush tips, you know, for new players that uh, maybe haven't played a lot of Battlefield. That's some of the keys to that. And I'll be bringing more videos with some more tips. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, a couple videos on screen for you to check out, a uh, featured video and a uh, similar video, and then a random video that you can check check out and maybe you haven't seen. Uh, but please leave some feedback for me. Uh, I really like doing these tips videos. I have to do a lot more of them. Uh, and, I, you know, there's different levels of tips advanced or beginner. And I um, want to bring you guys whatever is beneficial. So uh, feedback is always great. And uh, if you like it and it helps you, share it with a friend. that Maybe it will help them and uh, help our channel as well. Uh, anyways, for 11 Bravo, this is Fetz, and I'm uh, out of here.